right, I've got what I feel like is a great spot set up for this trap. This is where I've been baiting the hog right in here. We're on a dead end road. There's a swamp right here behind us. It's underwater. And so basically we're on the edge of where this water starts. Just maybe 30 yards behind me is where the water is. So a lot of game's gonna move along this water. And so this is a good spot I've got picked out and why I've been baiting the spot. Got several big boar hogs coming. There's one with some big teeth and that's the one I'm really hoping to catch. He's not huge. He looks like he's maybe 180 to 200 pounds or so. Uh, maybe a little less, but his teeth are very impressive, so I'd love to get a hold of him. But this is where this trap is. I've got it set right here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and bed this trap. I'll show you how it works, but we're going to bed it, get it covered with some dirt. I'm going to get this chain and cable and everything buried so the hog doesn't know it's here. And then I'm going to bait the trap, but I'm going to bait it about 12 inches in front of the trap. I don't want the bait where the trap is because I don't want him to root my trap, flip this thing up and over, and... and uh, cause it to malfunction or fire without getting him. I want him to step on it. So I'm gonna put the bait about 12 inches or so in front, kind of offset, try to get that leg, get him to step right in there. Now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bed this trap, get it covered up with some dirt. I'm gonna bury this, this chain and cable and uh, get this all set up perfectly as to where the hog can't see it. And the hog's not gonna know it's here. So when he steps on it, he'll have hopefully a nice little surprise. Here's the trap set. Idea is the hog comes along, steps here. He's caught nice. This has always been a very productive spot. We've caught, we had the pig brig set up right here. Um, probably about, probably eight or nine months ago, we caught about 14, I think we caught 14 hogs uh, in the trap that, that day. This has always been a pretty productive spot for hogs. But you can see right here, it's underwater. You can see there's some turtles. I guarantee you there's gators in here. And uh, some kind of water bird back there, beautiful. But that's why these hogs like this spot. They don't want to travel through that. They want to walk this edge. And, uh, and they do, you can see. Good hog track. Hog tracks, deer tracks. All kinds of stuff moving through here, but. Big hog is what we're after. So we've got the trap set, everything's ready to rock. We'll go ahead and bait it, ease out of here, and uh, I'm just gonna have to watch the camera. Hopefully we, uh, we get him tonight. One important thing to add with these traps, setting these foot snares, it's really important that you don't have any deer coming in, or any non-targets at that, but specifically deer. If a deer steps on that, he's probably gonna get caught around the foot. Um, if a raccoon steps on it, he's very unlikely to get caught. But any deer, turkeys, really raccoons, anything like that, um, they're probably gonna end up tripping the trap. So you just gotta be careful. Hopefully, you know, if you're in a spot where there's no deer coming in, just a hog, just hogs or hog, a boar hog or something like that coming by itself, if this trap works, it could really be a good option to keep in our arsenal. These guys right here are protected. Cormoran, he went under there actually more fish than they are bird. Let's see if he pops back up. These guys are protected, but they are absolutely everywhere in Florida. And I've actually watched one catch three fish in under a minute, back to back. Probably down there catching another fish. There he is. There he went. Cormoran, those guys will destroy some fish and they are overpopulated. They're everywhere. For whatever reason, they're protected in Florida. I hadn't figured it out. Got a pretty good hog on the line. So I am heading out there right now and I'm meeting a couple of my technicians. And uh, pretty good hog, pretty good set of teeth on them from the looks of it and uh, we may have our hands full so I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get this guy out of the trap yet we'll just have to see what it looks like when we get there all right we're here so thank goodness these neighbors <clears throat> there's a, got a house on both sides so thank goodness both these homeowners um, said it was okay to drive back here because otherwise we would have had a long drag about 200 yards back here so 
We're pulling back here now, and uh, man, I hope he's still in here. There he is. Uh, he's got some teeth. I have no idea how we're gonna get him out of here. He's trying to get away. What you doing, bud? Yeah, he's good size. He's real good size. Top on the back leg. Like it's got him good. He's got, got some good teeth. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can you come over here? You hung around that branch, aren't you? Wow, that's close. I think the GoPro turned on like one second after that happened. God, do that again. What's a puppy? All right, yeah, it's gonna be tricky with that. Uh, it's gonna be tricky with back leg thought. Trust that trap 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad dude up here. Alright, so here's what I'm going to try to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Are backing up? One spot that nobody wants to watch. Wow. Snow, I'm always behind you. Dang. No. You just stay right there. That's actually a pretty good position. Got him, Mike. Yep. You got him good. Yep. Hold on to it, Mike. All you got. trap worked pretty good. Look at the teeth on him. He's got some cutters. He's got some good teeth. He's pretty wore out. He's, he's hot. We're going to pour some water on him. It's, it was 85 degrees today and it's still February in Florida. Which is crazy. Is it a, I got three springs on this thing just to cushion him. So otherwise they'll break these cables. I've messed with similar traps before and they've just broken the cable but in the instructions on this one, they said put 10 inch spring on it. So I put three just to take some of that cushion, some of that blunt of when they just charge full speed and they're using all their weight and their strength. These, these hogs are crazy strong. See that though? I just barely let off that foot. One, two. Oh, no. no, 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 let the front feet go. That's where the has to sharp end, Michael. All right, ready? One, one two, three. All right. Woo, he's in. He's probably about 170, if I had to put a guess on it. 165, 170. Both of his ears are torn up. He's been fighting. He's got some really good teeth. 
for his size. There's a hog in here in this area that's even bigger. His teeth aren't as big, but he's a good bit bigger than this one. Really, really stout. So we'll probably keep a camera here. All right, so look at this. This little metal piece right here was like this. Now it's bent completely flat out, pretty much completely. So this is not reusable. That's why Michael was having such a hard time getting it undone off of his foot, off his leg. But you can say he bent that metal piece just flat out. And that's with the springs. You can see there's multiple springs. I got these things, it's, just, it's all springs, but he tore up the tree too. Look where he tore up the tree. I wrapped the chain around this tree twice just so he wouldn't dig in too much because I've had him break trees that you wouldn't think they could break. But he, he tore all that up. And that's with three different springs on this thing, absorbing a lot of that shock. So tell you how strong he is. Put another rope on it going that way, tying him in so that he can't go either way, you know what I mean? All right, that was awesome. Maybe not for you, but uh, I couldn't have done it without my two teammates here with me. They helped me out. Um, I'd have had my hands full by myself. Not a huge boar, he's probably 170, 175-ish, but he's got some spirit, he's got some heart. That was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, stay well.